He is known for being an Italian mathematician and glottologist. He is recognized for his foundational work in mathematical logic and set theory. His name is Giuseppe Piano. Giuseppe Piano, a brilliant Italian mathematician and glottologist, was a true pioneer in the field of mathematics. With over 200 books and papers to his name, Piano made significant contributions to mathematical logic and set theory. His groundbreaking work led to the development of the Piano axioms, which served as the standard axiomatization of the natural numbers. Piano's most notable achievement was his rigorous and systematic treatment of the method of mathematical induction. This method, which is fundamental to modern mathematics, allows for the proof of mathematical statements by establishing their validity for a base case and then showing that if the statement holds true for one case, it must also hold true for the next case. Not only was Piano a brilliant mathematician, but he was also a multilingual scholar. In addition to his mathematical pursuits, he delved into the field of linguistics and created an international auxiliary language called Latino Sign Flexion. This simplified version of classical Latin aimed to bridge communication gaps across different languages and cultures. Throughout his career, Piano dedicated himself to teaching mathematics at the prestigious University of Turin. His passion for the subject and his innovative contributions left a lasting impact on the field of mathematics, and his legacy continues to inspire generations of mathematicians and logicians. Giuseppe Piano, a brilliant mathematician and philosopher, dedicated his life to unraveling the mysteries of mathematics and the nature of definitions. Born and raised in Italy, Piano's academic journey began at the University of Turin, where he excelled in his studies and soon found himself teaching calculus. His passion for logic and mathematical foundations led him to publish groundbreaking works, including a textbook on calculus and his first book on mathematical logic. Piano's quest for knowledge extended beyond the classroom. In 1891, he founded the journal Revista di Matematica, providing a platform for scholars to exchange ideas and discoveries. He also embarked on an ambitious project called the Formula Rio, envisioning an encyclopedia of mathematics that would compile all known formulae and theorems in a standardized notation. This project consumed much of his time and attention, sometimes to the detriment of his other academic pursuits. In 1900, Piano attended the Second International Congress of Mathematicians in Paris, where he presented a thought-provoking question that would become a central focus of his philosophical inquiries, how do you define a definition? This question encapsulated his deep fascination with the nature of definitions and their role in mathematics. Piano's innovative logical symbols caught the attention of fellow mathematician Bertrand Russell, who was inspired to study Piano's work further. Despite his immense contributions to mathematics and logic, Piano's career faced some setbacks. His dedication to the Formula Rio project led to neglect in his teaching responsibilities, resulting in his dismissal from the Royal Military Academy. However, he retained his position at the University of Turin, where he continued to make significant contributions to the fields of analysis, foundations, and mathematical logic. Piano's intellectual pursuits extended beyond the realm of mathematics. In 1903, he embarked on the development of an international auxiliary language called Latino Sign Flexion. This project aimed to simplify Latin grammar and remove irregularities, making it easier to learn and communicate. Piano even demonstrated his new language during a lecture, gradually incorporating the simplifications into his speech. Throughout his life, Piano remained deeply committed to the pursuit of knowledge and the dissemination of mathematical ideas. He played a key role in the axiomatization of mathematics and became a revered figure in the international auxiliary language movement. Despite the challenges he faced, his contributions to mathematics and philosophy continue to inspire and shape our understanding of the world today. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.